Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit more about Arduino digital to analog conversion. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, you haven't seen our original video, there will be a link down below that will take you to it. But I'm just going to recap here real fast. We're not going to go over everything. We're using what's called an R2R ladder. And it's called R2R because we have simply two values of resistors and one value and this one is twice that value so i'm using 22 k and uh 47 i know 47 isn't quite 22 but with the tolerance of resistors and everything it works out just fine so these are all connected to port b of the arduino and we are creating a sine wave Again, check the original video to see how that's done. But basically, each one of these inputs is either zero or five volts. And by going through this R to R ladder, it converts it into a fluctuating analog voltage, which is DC biased. We add in a capacitor here. I think this is a 103. Uh, yeah, 103, and that removes the DC bias and gives us an oscillation about the zero volt mark. Now, if we attach the scope to this, you will be able to see that sine wave. there you have it if you look over here at the scope you can see we have a sine wave that is oscillating about the zero volt mark but the downside to this method is that this is a very weak signal and you really can't drive a speaker with it if you tried you would have massive distortion so what we need to do is we need to create a buffer to buffer our output from trying to drive the speaker and protect it. And that is easily done with an op amp. So let me move this out of the way here. And we'll bring in a piece of a paper. And we will talk about how to create an op amp buffer. It's very simple. So here we have our op amp. We have our non inverting input and our inverting input and our output. So our VN comes to the non-inverting input and we take the output and feed it back to the inverting input and that gives us our buffer which is basically an amplifier with a gain of one no amplification simply buffering now the wiring for this is also very simple. We're using the LM741 op amp. Okay. So we have our V minus and we have our V plus. We're not connected here and we're not connected here. We have our V in going to the non-inverting and then we simply run a jumper from the output to the input. And that gives us our buffer. So let's bring back 
our board here. Let me zoom out a little. And now you can see we have our buffer attached here. Here is the 741. Here is our non-inverting input going to pin 3. Our inverting input is coming from the output and we're giving it 9 volts. So let me power everything up here. And if we put a scope on our output from the op amp, first of all, let me attach our grounds. Always necessary to do that. Then we can put channel 2 from our scope. onto the output from our buffer. And if we go over and take a look at the scope, there you can see our waveforms. And if we overlay them, you can see they are exactly the same. So now, if we wanted to drive a speaker, we would be able to drive it from the buffer and protect the output of the Arduino. Of course, we might want to add another amplifier in there because this is going to be a very weak signal. But there it is, and that's how you create a buffer with an op amp helps you out in your Arduino digital to analog conversion. I hope you like this. If you did, give me the big old thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, and share. And I will see you next time.